So far, we have proved the following. 1. Existence. Our understanding of life from a scientific standpoint. It's amazing. As far as we know, we are the only species capable of exploration, discovery and questioning our existence. Two, we are the products of our environment. The brain has no mechanism to distinguish between what is relevant or not, so our environment is crucial. Three, the environment in which we grew, monetary system, is a belief system based heavily on imagination, a system that is obsolete, non-progressive and harmful for a human being. Four, we have discovered that we can change our environment into an efficient, progressive and extremely well organised one, the Venus Project. It could be changed tomorrow because the technology is available and human beings are proven to be motivated by the purpose of work. What greater purpose could there be? If the four points are true, why haven't we begun working towards a better society? The system we find ourselves in harms us, yet we do nothing about it. If we know that the present system is harming us and solutions exist, why don't we try to make a change? If everything happens in our brains and a decision to adopt another system is a simple process, then how is that not happening? To form an idea, let's point out some very important facts. 1. Lack of information when you do not know that technology is capable of creating another system, when you do not know how a human being works, what reality is, what existence is, when you are not informed, you cannot find solutions due to the limited information you were exposed to. If you do not analyse your current status, monetary system and how it works, to get an idea about you and the environment through your own analysis supported by science, then you will not be able to understand due to the limited information you have. 2. The learning mode of a human being In the documentary The Human Ape, an analysis was done between chimpanzees and humans and one of the discoveries was that chimpanzees learn just by looking at adults. 
not learning the moves, but basically obtain the results, while human beings tend to copy the teacher's behaviour. Do we have any mental skills which are uniquely our own? A key clue comes from a new experiment. Back at the University of Texas, Victoria Horner shows a chimp how to operate a puzzle box to get a treat. First she taps, then she slots. Next she pokes. The chimp copies fairly well and gets the sweet. This game we're going to play is about the special box I brought, all right? There's a gummy bear. It's your turn. Children copy the actions much as the chimps did. Huh, you got him! All right, there's a gummy bear. Good job. The second box that I show the chimpanzees is this one. And it's identical to the opaque box, except that it's made out of material which is see-through. Only now is it obvious that the tapping and poking don't achieve a thing. The box has a false ceiling. The chimps cut to the chase. They skip the needless steps. For the apes, it is all about the treat. What this study shows is that apes don't just mindlessly ape. They also understand something more about cause and effect. We found something quite surprising. The children were predisposed to copy, even when it meant that they were doing something that was really rather silly. So this seems a little like the chimps are outsmarting the kids in this particular study. There he is. You got him out. Why do children imitate slavishly? The root of the children's behavior is the fact that they view me as a grown-up, possibly as a teacher. That children expect to be taught is a vital difference. While apes can copy, most researchers believe that they do not teach each other. Warner has tested children around the world, and they all copy her actions. Not one of them takes the shortcut. What we found was actually rather surprising. We found that the children copied everything that I did, no matter whether they had the black box or the see-through box. So what will Billy do? She goes straight for the sweet. This isn't unusual. In trials with a dozen chimpanzees, Horner has found that two times out of three, chimpanzees take the shortcut. It's a start towards explaining why humans and apes are so different. Imitation and copying accurately is a huge part of our development as humans. It's how we learn language, it's how we learn to interact with objects and acquire cultural behaviours and lots of the complex things that we do as humans. Um, and it's a little as if it's a sort of default for us to copy accurately.
humans develop through imitation, not of just a result, but of the exact steps to obtain the result. If we use imitation to learn, then we are the result of our environment, which is currently the monetary system. 3. Obedience Many scientific studies have shown that human beings are obedient to authorities in that state or the group they belong. The gentleman in the elevator now is a candid star. These folks who are entering, the man with the white shirt, the lady with the trench coat, and subsequently one other member of our staff will face the rear. And you'll see how this man in the trench coat <laughs> tries to maintain his individuality, but little by little, he looks at his watch, but he's really making an excuse for turning just a little bit more to the wall. Now we'll try it once again. Here's the candid subject. Here comes the candid camera staff, three of them at least. And uh, this man has apparently been in groups before. Here's a fella with his hat on in the elevator. First he makes a full turn to the rear and Charlie closes the door. A moment later, we'll open the door. Everybody's changed positions. <laughs> now we'll see if we can use... Let's see if we can use group pressure for some good. Now, in a moment, on Charlie's signal, everybody turns forward. Notice they take off their hats. And now, do you think we could reverse the procedure? Watch. Four, homeostasis. One of the most important points. Homeostasis, or why beggars are comfortable as beggars, poor are comfortable being poor, mediocres are content being mediocre, or winners always want to win. The property of a system, either open or closed, that regulates its internal environment and tends to maintain a stable, constant condition. Human Homeostasis refers to the body's ability to physiologically regulate its inner environment to ensure its stability in response to fluctuations in the outside environment and the weather. What does this mean? If for only a few months you stay at the computer on the internet, your body gets used to it and will feel uncomfortable when you suddenly have to change this habit and go every day for instance to play soccer. If a person has become accustomed to poverty and a high amount of money is available to him, he will quickly spend it on whatever is available because poverty is the natural state and the body got used to this and strange as it may seem, that extra money causes him discomfort and the body wants to change this state to the previous one. If you become accustomed to idleness, it will be very hard to learn diligence because it does not feel natural at all. When you disturb homeostasis, the body responds to it in a variety of ways. You can be affected by physical disorders such as dizziness, nausea, stomach discomfort, digestive disruption, or you, you can be affected by psychological disorders such as depression, laziness, and stress. You have to take that risk for all this, if you really want to have a different life than the one you have now. 
if you want to go quickly from what life offers you now to another one. The change will be tough, and that's the price you must pay. What I'll teach you is to bring out the qualities that you desire and develop your personality. To have the comfort you want, to have a sex life that you want, the relationship you desire, the lifestyle you want. To get the results you want, you need to be fully involved, physically and mentally. When you learn, and what you have to do to become successful in these aspects of life will not be a walk in the park. You will have to disturb homeostasis in order to achieve it, and it takes effort and sweat. If you want to achieve in a short time what many do not get in a lifetime. At first, when I had to learn all these things, I didn't feel myself, but I did not give up, because I really wanted to succeed. And believe me, I never felt more myself than I do now. So think carefully before you say, I cannot do it because I am not like that. It's your inside Muppet that is telling you that, because a new idea means disturbing homeostasis. Anyone who prevents you from making a change, because what you have is good enough, is also a Muppet. When you have this personal success, you feel more yourself than before. To have power in the outside world, you need to have inner strength. This means to rely on yourself, believe in yourself, know that no one is to blame except you. To have personal power is to have a real vision about yourself and the world, to be honest with yourself. Self-esteem is essential. Whatever you do from now on, Keep this word in mind, respect. If you do not respect yourself, you lose before you begin. If you believe that you don't deserve respect, you'll have nothing. Homeostasis will make you feel comfortable regardless of your environment, success or whether you're a happy person or not. If you want to get from who you are now to the person who has everything he wants, you will have to endure a temporary state of discomfort until you feel good about being the person you become. Our body, brain and behaviour have an innate tendency to remain in the same state between some very narrow limits, and if those limits are exceeded, it will return to its previous state. And that's a good thing most times. If the body temperature would rise or fall by 10%, you have very big problems. It's the same with blood sugar and many other basic functions of your body. This state of balance or resistance to change is called homeostasis. From bacteria, or a frog, to a man, family, or large groups of people and whole cultures, homeostasis plays its role and its laws are valid with mental states and behaviour, not just physical. I mentioned how physical homeostasis works. Mentally, if you're used to watching television 10 hours a day, this is a condition where you feel natural. Everything else is perceived as bad and hard for your body and mind. In groups, family, society, friends, the homeostasis balance are maintained by instructions, laws, penalties, privileges, rules, gifts, favours, signs of approval and affection. A nation is held together by its culture, laws, education, sports, etc. Thus, homeostasis helps maintain the status quo, and by doing so, prevents change even when our environment harms us. Let's say you have a family, bank debt, and feel pretty sick of your life. You work a lot to sustain your family, but you can't afford more than the minimum necessities. Now comes a documentary such as Trump, or you hear about the Venus Project somehow, a project that can substantially improve your life. You say, you want to have such a life and live in such a way. You have heard that you can help this process by informing people about it, but you still say it's impossible. Although now you know that human behaviour is sculpted by the environment, 
that people are motivated by the purpose of work, money is an invention, and that present technology is capable of producing such a system, you still find it impossible? You're afraid of this system. You will associate with New World Order or other conspiracy theories. You're afraid for your family. You're afraid you'll lose your job. And you continue creating negative scenarios in your mind. You feel small. You cannot find any reason for you to get involved. Although you don't have any real reason why this system could not work. You always say that the way you act now, service and family care, is the most mature, most suitable way to act for such a situation. You discard your desire for that kind of life by saying to yourself that, if such a system is possible, others will put it into practice. You then return to the state you were in before. Homeostasis does not distinguish between changes for the better and change for the worse. It resists any change. Any state that you are now in is considered normal by your physique and psyche. This is the first problem that you encounter. If you are poor, sedentary, without success, physically and mentally broke, depressed for too long, it is considered normal and any attempt to change will be perceived as a threat to your body and mind. The first step is understanding that it will start when you begin to change, to know and fight homeostasis. Be aware of how homeostasis works and then strive for change. Do not let it stop you. Expect the physical and mental resistance. When the alarm starts ringing, it does not mean that you are sick, or dying, or what you want is impossible, or you're lazy, or that you are wrong by choosing to change. It's an indicator that your life is changing the way you want, for your benefit, through your choices. Do not panic, and do not give in. As I said, you can expect resistance from family, friends, the entourage. Homeostasis applies to social groups as well. When you start to change, the whole system that you belong to begins to change. People will often react negatively, but they don't want to harm you. It's just homeostasis, and they will adapt if you persevere. Negotiate with your resistance to change. When the change starts, pay attention to pain, discontent. You have to persevere and to push forward but be careful not to push too far, at the limit, but aware of you. Do not push forward like crazy. Negotiate with the pain. How do you react when you push the limits? Fear? Psychosomatic? Self-sabotage? Quarrels with others? None of the above? Stay tuned. Negotiate. Develop a support system. The best support comes from people who have gone through something similar, or maybe even go with you. Homeostasis can easily be noticed in our case, the system change. If you present to people the Venus Project, a project that will change their life significantly, raise their level of comfort, free them from servitude, and they are not interested in this idea, Regardless of its basis in reality, this clearly demonstrates the psychological effects of homeostasis. If you are not interested in improving your life, it means that the body is fighting to maintain the current status.
So, to get from point A, monetary system, to B, the Venus Project, you should start to inform people in your life about the Venus Project and about points 2, 3 and 4. If you know that you tend to be obedient in front of present normality in the culture you belong to, you're an environmental creation, or that you tend to keep your most common condition, even if this condition is harmful to you, you will know what you are up against and the decisions will come in accordance with this information. I know that this solution, informing the population, seems too simple to be true. But we have shown that solutions for improving the system and the individual's life exist, but they are not put into practice because of the people's ignorance and lack of tangent to reality. If you start to inform people about subjects such as those presented in this documentary and solutions like the Venus Project, you will trigger a chain reaction and people will start to inform others. We are almost 7 billion people on this planet and for a system like the Venus Project to be applied, we must share the same reality. Otherwise, it's like we have 7 billion people living in different worlds, in different realities. Cannot get anything progressive like that. Debate, discuss and improve your information. The Z-Geist movement has provided lots of publicity for the Venus Project. Several million people have heard about the Venus Project and information has begun to spread quickly through TVP organised teams with many chapters in different countries. Many countries have organised groups to inform people about such a system based on Earth's resources and in each such country are several chapters in various cities. The internet allows you to express yourself freely. Take advantage of it. But remember, this move towards a society based on the Earth's resources is not a movie, not a play. It's really necessary. Concentrate to understand it.